just beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's just, I think it just sets the stage. And of course, our life is in his hands. It, it, it really is. And every day, I do believe that we have to um, acknowledge that and remember that, Liz. We really, really do. Okay, to our viewers at home, I said to you also at the top of the show that we also have a poet. And it's deeper than that, a gentleman with a testimony who has written some inspirational poems. Um, his name is Aaron uh, Pemberton, but goes by the name of Tennington Bolter. That's his name as the author. And I just want to get ready for you to just introduce him now. <laughs> is he going to take his seat? Just take a seat for us. He's just going to get ready to sit down. Praise God. Take a seat. Sit down. Isn't this just a wonderful... <laughs> We're going to try to keep this Good, one nice round of focus. applause. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's always really nice. I quite like um, the, the, the whole sort of um, essence of, 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 of poetry. But welcome, first of all, to Dream On TV with us on a Wednesday night, Aaron. Mm -hmm. um, Tennington, I should call you, as you're That's working right. with this. Uh, yes, with, 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 with the book. But um, just tell me a little bit about um, even the title, Mental Binoculars of the Judged Pope. Now, I think you really do have to be an intellectual poet to really understand <laughs> there's some great things in here. Tell us a bit about it. Oh, it's um, it's a, a title that I thought of uh, when I was writing the book. It's uh, wonderful for you to m make a comment on it. Uh, do you like it? I do. I just want to understand it. I, d I do actually like it. I think it draws people to, to inquire of, 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 of this particular content. Mm -hmm. Do you know, like, sometimes it's almost like a parable, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is my microphone faulty? Is it? No, can can you hear me? Yeah, oh, I can, I can hear, hear you hear very you. clearly. Very clearly. It's very loud. <laughs> but, it's a, but tell me a little bit about some of the um, poems that you've written and the inspiration behind them. It's... Um, a poem that I, a, a book that I wrote at uh, university. Um, most of the poems in the book consist of uh, of uh, verses that I'd written or thought up at university. Some of it was written before, some of it was written after. Uh, I thought of the title after after doing a lot of work at. Uh, the university on my course. Uh, it was a title that reflected the kind of writing that I'm doing. Wonderful. And how would you describe it? Because in fact, why don't I ask you to even um, direct me to, you're going to actually uh, give us a poem right now anyway, aren't you? And then, right. uh, and maybe you can then tell us um, how you would describe your own personal writing. I've got a couple poems in mind that I can read to you. Uh, they're not very long poems, they're quite quick, hence uh, my name, Tennington Balti. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you go. I like that. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll read these quickly for you. This is Short Sleeves in Hell, something like uh, what, it's, what it feels like behind this microphone right now. <laughs> um, I find myself e reading more comfortably on stage in front of a live audience. Oh, okay. Uh, this is... Um, this is very different, then. <laughs> very different. No worries. Short sleeves in hell. I am what I am. It is what I'll be. I live to arrive. So why deny me? For love can be closing, if taken too fast. For dreams come unfolding, when keeping the past. Mm. My jumpers are short, but so are my arms. I would not get caught when I'm working my charms. In working and acting, I hope I might find a house to be warm in and a wife to be kind. For I am what I am. It is what I'll be. I live to arrive, so why deny me? No, that's <laughs> amazing. I like wow. that. Short sleeves in hell. That's a bit of a powerful title. Just, uh, I mean, just tell me a bit of a, a bit of the inspiration behind that. What is it as a poet that you're saying in that poem? That you can do anything that you set your heart into, and you can get there eventually. It's it's not an easy way, a road all the time. Sometimes it's very difficult. Uh, I've had to overcome 
difficulties uh, with uh, my chemical balances and uh, I've, I've had to get through life. I've rebelled a lot. Uh, I, it's it's not been a smooth journey in in all in all respects. Uh, but, but God has brought you through, hasn't He, Aaron? He has, and and I I I think that as long as you keep faith, you do you do see God working, God moving in your life. Absolutely. Absolutely. It is just so exciting just to see um, how you can indulge in struggle, but just to watch God um, completely um, just grab you by your hand and just remind you that you are who you are, because I've made you who you are. And through the things that he's given you, you can celebrate him because this book just simply gives God the glory. Yes. You, Mr. Tennington Bolte, a.k.a. <laughs> Aaron Pemberton have given God the glory today and I know what I'm talking about in Jesus name have I got to wrap up yeah. wow we're out of time already he's got to read I'm afraid more. so uh, we've got one more we've got time for one more poem and then we've got to say goodbye okay, then yeah good. so that's, oh. that's literally it. we've got four minutes of the show's left so enjoy this it's special oh it's special. it is it is this is uh, called content life can be simple it can be sweet Candy wrapped in gold, given ever so neat. Chewing too fast won't make it last. You'll find yourself reaching far back for the past. Be satisfied with where you stand. Don't wish to reach and snatch loose sand. Know you'll get there doing right. Let that be your motive sight. A night when lust will only make you sad and drive your spirit truly mad. Desiring what you just can't have is an escapade in Satan's bag and loving all you already know will ease the trip from which you'll grow and the work you'll do will keep you high as inside your soul already flies that's beautiful <laughs> that's, that's really lovely. beautiful Aaron, where can, where can our viewers get a hold of the book? Uh, you can look at it or purchase it from a website www.tenningtonbolte.co.uk okay that's going to be on our website that's www.tenningtonbolte that's b-o-l-l-t-e dot co dot uk and we've got to go i've got to say a big thank you to you reverend liz mitchell thank, thank you. you so much for joining us on the show and to our buddy new author a beautiful book inspired from a great journey of which you have overcome thank you for joining us on the show aka Turn into the Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, Rick, we're out of here, right? Guys, you know what I always say, I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll catch you next week. Goodbye. It's been a hard year, but I'm climbing out of the rubble.